Dr. King came up here with a uh, pretty disappointing topic. Um, I read this Tuesday. I want to get to it immediately as soon as I read it, but didn't have time. Um, but anyway, um, YG Entertainment um, nullifies uh, the Superlows contract. Uh, we will not see the Superlows um, debut the group. Um, what happened was was that um, uh, the Superlows, you guys know, uh, were four four girls, Lehigh was also part of, um, sang in K-pop star season one last year. And um, after that, YG picked them up and said that these girls are going to debut right away. We're going to make them to the next Big Mama. Um, 2012 came. He said they delayed, he's, he's delaying their, their debut to the following year. And now we get this. So um, according to uh, the man himself, the CEO of Hunsuk, um, he says that uh, it was it was a mutual agreement amongst both parties that uh, I guess pretty much things weren't working out, and that it'd be best if they went elsewhere, um, you know, to make their dreams come true and being stars in, in the in the K-pop industry. But they're still going to keep Lee High, um, and Lee High is currently working on a brand new album uh, that should be out, I believe, and. April, an April release, is slated for an April release, so, yeah, uh, the, the good thing about this, I think, is that, um, you know, YG, he has connections, and one thing I do like about him is that for, if you don't work out in his company, he will, you know, connect you and link you to other outside, you know, resources and companies, um, you know, to see if you can fit with them, and things will work out within his company, so, uh, that's one bright thing I think that come out of this. Uh, now you know, in K-pop, it's, it's common you know for for groups to get dropped from their labels before they debut. It happens uh, sometimes. Some artists they or trainees they get dropped from their label bef before they're even close to being de 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 to their debut. Um, but the, the disappointment with me that comes out of this is that. He, 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 he literally guaranteed and made a public open announcement to the media and to the public that, hey, Supros are going to debut very soon. They're going to debut, like, immediately. And then now we have this, and now that they're not, that's disappointing. If he would have had Supros under his label and not guarantee a, a, a debut immediately as soon as possible and just let them train and then say, like, after one to two year, years of training in the company, then he says, okay, you know what, I'm going to drop them. I would have been a little bit fine with that. But for him to make a quick, like I said, pretty much an open statement, a guarantee, that's disappointing. And, you know, I just think that this here really confirms me, and I even mentioned this before in another video I, I had mentioned about YG Entertainment. I really think YG is overwhelmed. I really think they are cramped with so much stuff that they really don't know what to do. Um, you know, because last year when, when 21 came out with the song, I Love You, I mean, they only promoted for like, what, two and a half weeks? Then he pulls them off, he pulls them away, cancels their promotions early, and has them to go on tour. And to me, it's like, in my, now I think, I think one of the things reasons he said he, he really didn't care for the song, I Love You, he was kind of disappointed um, in the outcome of that song, which I don't see how, because that song was doing like an all kill and online charts. But anyway, but for whatever reason, um, why would you have your artist to promote a single or, or a song a couple of days, a couple of weeks ahead of their tour or their concert when you know you're gonna have to pull them away from you're gonna have to pull them away from the scene very early? That just doesn't make sense to me. Right there was that was the first sign to me. It's like YG, what are you doing? When they did that with Twenty One, it's like what are you doing? But like you're pulling away way too early. I mean, if they have to go on tour first, let them do the tour first, then have them come out, and then let them fully, you know, do the, the I Love You promotion. But for them to do that, that right there was kind of first sign of me is YG kind of shaking things up a bit. Then his boy band was supposed to come out last year. When the time came for them to, to, to supposedly come out, um, they said that they hadn't even come up with the concept for the boy band just yet. Like, really? What are you doing? Um, so they have a lot of things. And I think I think the biggest thing that they're really focusing on, and they're just so just.
Big Shades of Bond. Um, is this new girl group, girl generation inspired that they're trying to make? I think this is the thing that's going to kill them because I mean already they they've dropped two or three potential members that are going to be in this girl group. They've dropped immediately already. So they're very obsessed with this new girl group. They have that. They have. They're still working on the new boy band. They have the new uh, male solo so, soloist that they're working on. He's should be debuting sometime this year. Twenty uh, one's comeback is also uh, in the next month or two months. G Dragon's coming back with another album in the next month, two months. So it's like they have like all of these things. Lee High is also working on a new album. So. They have all these things going on. It's like they do not have time to breathe. And it's like they're trying to rush and pump these guys out really quick, especially with the new artists. And, you know, I, I remember YG himself, he said, Hun Sook said himself that, um, you know, if you would have asked him 10 years ago, can, can you debut an, an artist within with only three years of training, he said it's impossible. He said because it took him nearly, it, well, not nearly, but it took him exactly 10 years just to make Big Bang. And, but he says, you know, seeing artists that have come and have become, you know, successful in the industry out of a three or four year period of training, he says, he thinks it is possible, it is successful. So now he's trying to follow that trend, and then him following, following this trend, I think is hurting him more than helping him. Uh, you know, some, some companies can, they can pull off training a, a, a trainees for two to three years and they'd be successful. JYP is like golden with that. They have a history of training people for just three years, push them out, they're successful. SM is a little bit 50-50. They can train somebody for four years, push them out, they're successful, or they spend 10 years training them, push them out, and they're successful. It varies with them. But YG does not have that experience. This is new for YG, so I think this is why it's so chaotic. And at the same token, for YG Entertainment, their structure and their thing to be, you know, for them to be as perfectionist as they are, and to want to put out the best quality music, artist, style, image, whatever, they really should not try this typical three-year training period, push your artist out thing, because that's just not their style. That's not how YG rolls. I love YG Entertainment. That's, that's my brand. That's my favorite company for years, but... You know, I'm not going to, you know, just <clears throat> just blow everything under the rug. You know, I don't agree with everything that they're doing. And, like, this is a disappointment with, with, with the Superos. Lee High was supposed to be a part of the Superos. She's still going to be under YG Entertainment. But the other three members are not going to be under the YG umbrella. So this is very disappointing. Um, what, what are you guys' thoughts and opinions on the Superos, um, you know, being dropped? Being dropped? Before they even get before you get 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 a chance to see them uh, collectively as a group, and uh, like I said, Lee High still being um, with YG, and uh, do you do you agree or disagree on my thoughts of how I think YG is kind of a little bit too chaotic, and with all these things right now, especially this new girl group. In my honest opinion, I really don't think they need another girl group right now. Twenty one are just only what three or four years old. They're still relevant. They're still, you know, uh, popular. I really don't see the necessary need for another girl group right now from YG. Maybe in the next two years, 2016, 2015, sure. Right now, no. Does he need a new boy band? I think he could use another boy band because uh, uh, Big Bang are at that point now where they can only, they, they can promote once out of the year now. You know, they don't have to promote, you know, throughout the year to gain that popularity because they, they have their fan base a lot. So they can promote just once a year and they'll, you know, the company make a, a third of its profits just off their, uh, just off their promotions alone. So I do think they need another boy band to help bring in the revenue throughout the year. You know, while Big Bang are off and some of the other veterans are off doing their other things, which is why I also think it's good that they're bringing in a new male soloist because Seven is about to get ready to be enlist, enlisted next month. So what do you guys thoughts and opinions um, about the two pearls? And uh, and my my opinions and thoughts on YG's system and how they're running and how they're thinking. Uh, when you're talking about the law, subscribe, peace.